My name is Nishit Prakash and I come from Bihar. I wanted to actually understand that will this policy is actually going to have any impact on girls' enrollment or not, and if it did have an impact, to what extent it bridges the, the gap between girls and the boys, which is pretty high in case of Bihar. The, the number of student, uh, girls' students who go to school from the middle to the high school, which is from class 8 to 9, there is a sudden drop uh, if you look at the, those graphs and the numbers. It's really difficult to isolate the impact of a particular policy given that there's so many things changing at the same time, right? So basically what we're proposing here and what we've executed is a three-step process of what one might call a difference, indifference, indifference approach. So let me just put that in English. The first intuitive thing one might think about doing is to say, let's look at girls' enrollment in 2005 before the program, and then let's look at girls' enrollment in 2009, three or four years after the program, and let's look at this difference, right? So this is how much the girls' enrollment went up. But as you can probably already see, that that's problematic for many reasons because there's thousands of other things changing at the same time, right? There's higher economic growth, there's higher parental income, aspirations. People see that education is the pathway out of poverty. So maybe a lot of this was happening anyway and that the parents would have sent their girls to school anyway. Um, and you're overstating dramatically the impact of the cycle program if you were just to look at that difference. But at the same time, boys enrollment is also going up. So the next thing you want to do is say, okay, the cycle program only affected girls, right? Boys were not eligible. And so, um, the boys provide a reasonable control group because you've got boys side by side with these girls in the schools. Then the next thing you do is you compare the difference in enrollment of the girls with the difference in enrollment of the boys. You've got two differences now. So that's your difference in difference. But this is still not good enough. This method so far assumes that the trend line for boys was the same as the trend line for girls. And there's many reasons to think that that's not true. If you focus your analysis on either side of the state border, you have areas that are culturally extremely similar, but where one side of the border got the cycle policy and the other did not. And so you can look at this difference on the Bihar side and then look at the difference on the Jharkhand side and then take the difference of that. And that's your triple difference. The difference in difference in difference. You could still quibble with that, but given the statewide nature of the program, that's probably as good as you can do. <laughs> it's, it's a very super preliminary uh, work so far, and we find some positive impact on enrollment and uh, the number of students who pass class 10th. So for every 100 boys in grade 9, you have about 60 girls in, in grade 9. So that gap is 40. Um, their reduced. estimates are this is bridging that gap by about eight to ten, about about eight to ten girls, so roughly twenty to twenty-five percent of the gender gap. Mm -hmm. This classroom, nobody was absent. Uh, this classroom also, I don't think anybody is absent. You know, one girl is absent. There. You know, quality was good, but uh, because the attendance was so poor, they were not able. You know to um, pass in their final examination or they would, you know, um, there was something missing in their life. They, they, they didn't count. You know how it is related now, how the child's become so smart. Once they got this money, they went also to the bank to open their account. Now they know how to operate a bank account. So children, you know, one thing is related to the other. Governments have limited resources, right? I mean, and the government of India, the government of Bihar, several, and, 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 and they have several options on what they might do. So I just think, you know, it's important to measure whether this had an effect and to the extent... And it was cost effective. And by opening up high-profile government programs to academic scrutiny, right? I mean, it just moves policy-making forward in, in overall a good way. There is something, I think, that struck a chord with the way this particular program manifested itself, not just about the fact that it was money and cycles, but that it was a symbol of empowerment. I see a very big change between the mother and the daughter. 
you know and the daughter now helps the mother and makes her understand that i need to study because we need to change our uh, the way we were living you know that uh, the whole thing we need to change they have a dream to fulfill they can become doctors engineers or whatever they wish to do they can they can try definitely